With a stream of DLC confirmed for Smash Brothers, what better time is there to look at characters that would be good DLC? I'll start by looking at 12 popular choices, and which similar characters I think would be better choices whether mechanically or representing a franchise or gameplay style. These are opinions and do not necessarily mean I oppose the popular choice. These are simply alternate choices that could serve the same purpose better. Instead of Daisy... Daisy? Really? Her supporters put her forward as either a watered-down semi-clone of Peach, or a version of how I've pushed forward Waluigi in the past, or as a full clone of Peach. Just no. Please. Let Waluigi come and represent all of the side series franchises and his trademark craftiness, and change his assist trophy to Daisy. Have Waluigi bludgeon people with full-sized Mario Karts dance across the battlefield, and use the many things introduced in the Mario parties. Instead of Simon Belmont... Simon Belmont has been a popular suggestion since before the ballot due to being the pioneer for the Castlevania games. My only problem with him is he is, strangely enough, not iconic to the series. This is true of almost all of the Belmonts. They are created and have a few games and then a new Belmont comes along. One solution is to suggest Belmont instead of a specific Belmont, and have the costumes be each Belmont. Another alternative is to look at some of the characters who are iconic to the mythos. Two single characters come to mind. Dracula, who could even appear in his protagonist form, or Alucard, Dracula's son, and a recurring protagonist and NPC. I think Alucard would best be able to represent the franchise and bring the most unique moveset. And there aren't a billion Alucards like there are Draculas. Instead of Paper Mario. For some reason, Paper Mario has a community supporting him. I don't get why, or how he could be properly represented. Paper Mario is made of paper. He's more than a flat Mario. He's literally a piece of paper, and if you've played the Paper Mario games, you know that fact is a huge part of his character. How could he have any way to him, and not fail to represent his franchise? He'd be launched like a piece of paper! He isn't like Game & Watch who is flat, but we don't know what he's made of, or if he would be more substantial if he had a third dimension. But he doesn't. He has two dimensions. Paper Mario has three dimensions. He is just a piece of paper, and well, paper thin and light. So who else could be an alternative that could be represented well and bring something totally unique? Baby Mario and Luigi, together as one character, also killing the camps who want Baby Mario and Baby Luigi as separate characters. The Baby Brothers appeared as a team in the Mario and Luigi series capable of using different team-based actions. As a potential character, they could mine the entire Mario and Luigi franchise and perform combo attacks to fight. Instead of Goku? Goku. Come on, are you really still crossing your fingers for a crappy anime character? I'm still going to keep throwing Nintendo's Goku back at you. Even if the monkey DLC for the Mii isn't too far off from a staff-wielding monkey. Goku would be the ultimate troll DLC and perfect justice for Dragon Ball fanboys. Plus, I wouldn't have panic attacks from playing Smash Brothers, which for me is very important to my enjoyment of the game. Panic attacks aren't fun. Stop trying to put my random trigger in the game. He's an anime character in an orange jumpsuit. Instead of Lana. Lana? I know she's a mage type character, but who is she to Zelda? She was made for a single game. You know who else is a mage type Zelda character and the secondary Zelda antagonist? Fatty, of course, the Wind Mage. See, Mage is in his title. Plus, he could have an Ivan or Sheba alternate costume. Okay, now I'm being crazy. Crazy connections. Crossover confirmed. Instead of Hades. 
Hades is a decent enough character and all, but he doesn't really have much significance or an obvious move set. Medusa is both, being Pitt's personal antagonist and Palutena's rival. I've said it before, it would be insanely cool to play as a snake-headed woman. Instead of Chibi Robo, I don't particularly have a problem with Chibi Robo. I'm not sure what Ollie could do to be a balanced fighter or reflect his franchise, but I'm sure Nintendo could figure it out. There's another kind of Nintendo Robo though. No, not Rob. If only there was somebody to love you besides Professor Hector. We have the custom Robo franchise, and while I think a stage would better represent the franchise than a character, I'd not have one objection to custom Robo joining his DLC. He'd play very uniquely as undoubtedly a very strategic tactical character that is all about controlling the battlefield, just like the custom Robo games where a skilled player uses pods and bombs to force your opponent into a charge attack or point blank stream of bullets. He'd play like no other character, and each alternate could be a different Robo from Raid to Chickenheart, and if some DLC characters will get custom moves, unlike Mewtwo, he'd be a perfect candidate. How about the drill gun for closer range attacks and shield breaking? Or the flame gun for lingering shots? The hornet gun for shots that home? Or the rayfall gun for bullets that pause and then rain down? Instead of Crystal, barring the whole anti-furry argument against her, because I try to pretend that crap doesn't even exist, the idea of Crystal doesn't appeal to me. Without the staff and primitive clothes, which I'm pretty sure Nintendo wouldn't go with, I think she's been portrayed frighteningly close to Fox. Heck, the whole reason Fox can use the staff is because he's a martial artist. If Wolf is coming back, I'd rather not see a fourth variation of Fox. The Star Fox character stands the best chance of not being Fox, Slippy, the resident inventor and mechanic of the team. He's not a fighter. Heck, he's a terrible pilot. He'd need to rely heavily on weapons and tools, and his final smash could involve him jumping into an R-Wing, immediately getting enemies on his tail, and crashing it into the battlefield, reflecting his gameplay purpose perfectly. Plus, maybe they could give him a tongue attack. Why not? Instead of Groose... Groose? Did I miss something? Is Groose really worthy of being represented, or is this a troll choice like Shrek? How about Prince Richard, or Ralph, instead? He cameoed in a Zelda game, and it would actually represent a new franchise. You know the Prince of Sable assist trophy. Richard is his best friend and rival, who ends up gaining the same transformation abilities. Richard always did outdo the Sable Prince anyway. It'd only be fitting he'd be the playable character instead. Instead of Wart. I really feel like there are plenty of Mario characters. Too many, actually, just like the games. A new Mario character at least should bring something new and compelling. What would Wart do, really? He had one appearance, and the characters from Super Mario Bros. 2 really weren't deep, fleshed-out characters with dynamic abilities. I think Egad would be a better alternative as Mario's resident inventor, using kooky tools and his more known inventions. Something unique could be done with him. Instead of Pooh, I think Pooh would make a great mother representative, being both a good physical fighter and a PSI user. I think Duster could be another great choice because of how weird he is when you think about it. He equips shoes and attacks enemies by kicking them. It'd be hilarious if his entire moveset he never punched or grabbed. The kicker is, he ironically has a bad leg. In addition, he is actually the owner of the rope snake and has his thief tools. He has wall staples to climb and pin enemies, bombs to make enemies cry, and he can tickle enemies, amongst other things. Plus, he is a bassist. He could be a very fun character to play and use. Instead of Impa? The idea of Impa doesn't excite me at all. Maybe I'm tired of the Sheikah, even though she'd play nothing like Sheik. Maybe it's that I'm tired of straightforward sword users, or maybe it's because I'm an older gamer at heart who thinks of Impa as a feeble old lady and doesn't think Ocarina of Time is the best Zelda game ever. We have two Links, and technically two Zeldas. Why not have two Ganons, where one actually represents him? Ganon has many abilities, 
and he wields a trident. Can you one-up any of my alternatives? Let's make that the episode question. Today might I suggest last episode or TC with next episode. <laughs>